We're rolling corn again today. Getting after it. Yeah, pretty good job. And it's late, late in the day already. Uh, I keep covering up that camera. And I had some, I've had like two or three things go on already. I should have already had this stuff rolled, but had a guy come and look at uh, my grain drill to buy it. And we'll see. They want to see if the tractor can pick it up, which I don't think it's going to, but we'll see. Um, kind of show you kind of what I've been looking at. I've been rolling quite a bit of corn. What we're going to do this year is we're going to, we're going to get a grain bin this year and put in for the feedlot. Uh, probably not a big one. Maybe like 3,000 bushels or something like that. That would probably be as big as we get. And that way when they can haul in on trucks and I can just load load the bin and then I'll have the auger on a have it set up on a where this thing can just run while I'm doing feed or working calves or whatever because right now I can't uh, do that because you know the truck may plug or that engine may stop or you know whatever reason kind of got to be around so uh, if we keep buying cattle like we are and preconditioning cattle like we are and uh, expand onto the feed pins like we're going to, what we'll do is we'll take the roller mill uh, off the wall and actually build an external uh, mill house for this and it will set outside and it'll just auger we'll just have an auger that comes in here that way that's off the wall there's no more vibrations on the wall uh, that works really good for now but if we keep building this thing up then it's gonna it's gonna get to where it it's in the way and it's i don't want that much vibration on that wall we'll just build an external rolling house and it'll just be its own little unit which will work good and we'll just auger it into the building because uh, eventually eventually I'll go to a wheeled loader that is if I make money and continually run cattle and build my feeding business then I'll go to a, a wheeled front end loader I've, I've always planned on doing that uh, it's just it's just one of those down the line kind of things um, Somebody was texting me. <laughs> I've, I've been kind of thinking about this, and it, I, uh, I'm not trying to bash the guy at all, uh, but I've been, and it just, I put a video up the other day, and it, I have it where the advertisements, you know, they can, they can place them in the video, which is annoying, but if you have ad blocker, then you don't have to see it. But it, at the 10 minute mark, there was an ad for uh, how farms works. And I've, I've made my comment on what I think. Uh, I like their older stuff, I did. I think they have great video quality. They do really good videos and I liked a lot of their older stuff uh, because it's not common where I am. So I thought it was really cool, uh, a lot of their older stuff. But this isn't about, you know, personally what I think about them. Uh, I've, I've been watching YouTube since like 2009, uh, and then actually a lot of channels started then, and I watch a lot of different stuff. I watch like, uh, like Philip DeFranco, Boogie2988, Emily Hartridge, uh, A, AVE, like a lot of like machining channels, a lot of like old, uh, oh, Forgotten Weapons, Hickok 45, Wrangler Star. I watch just like the gamut of stuff. 
Uh, it won't, I watch a gaming channel, uh, Daggerwin, and some other ones, uh, Zero Empire, some other guys on there. And One Lonely Farmer, who's a big ag channel. But out of all the years I have watched, um, and I used to watch Ray William Johnson, which was Equals 3. Out of all the years that I have watched YouTube, I have never, ever once seen a an ad for a YouTube channel. And I watch uh, Good Mythical Morning. I, I'd seen it way back in the day and never subscribed to it. And a fellow YouTuber got me subscribed to it. And then some logging channels. I watch this. Uh, and some channels where they pull tanks out of the swamps in uh, Eastern Europe. I think that's really cool. Really fascinated with that. But I've never ever seen a YouTuber with an ad for their channel. Out of, out of all the different channels I watch, and some big channels, never seen one. Um, ever, actually. And I remember when he came out with that ad, and I didn't think anything of it until just the other day, and I'm, and I guess he's the number one YouTube, uh, ag vlogger now, 70 plus thousand subs, and he was at like 20,000 a year ago, so he's blown up, but I, I, I was just going to ask a question, you know, I know all you guys watch YouTube channels, you know, has anybody else ever seen another YouTube channel with a, with an ad, like, I, I haven't seen him. He's the only one who has an ad for his YouTube channel, and I don't, I'm not saying it's a good thing, because I know no other YouTuber does that. So I wonder, I'm, I'm just kind of curious if it's not, if he just doesn't have something going with YouTube, like, or he's actually paying YouTube, because for people to put ads on YouTube costs money. Like it, it costs quite a bit of money, uh, especially on something that's going to get a lot of a lot of uh, views. And I think the agriculture community does that. Cause I mean, look, one lonely farmer has seventy thousand subs. He has seventy thousand subs, and not everybody likes him. So you figure there's probably you know two hundred thousand people at any time. You know, looking for ag channels or whatever somewhere in there. You know that's that costs that costs some coin, and it's it's just something I was thinking about. It kind of brought up in my mind, and it, I'm not trying to knock the guy at all over it. It's just uh, he just happens to be the number one uh, farming channel right now, and it just I've seen a lot of other channels that have you know millions of subscribers. Or their up and coming channels or something like that, and they don't they, they don't do that. None of those guys do it. So I'm just curious as to whether maybe it's uh, maybe it's, he's got something going on with him, or or he's actually paying to uh, get his channel out there. Which which I guess now maybe it maybe it's Carl Fitz Sons or whoever the hell it was who's giving him all that equipment. Maybe they're paying for it, but. Yeah, it's it's kind of I mean it's a 3 minute ad. It's it's a big ad, but uh it's just one of his full videos. But yeah, just a, just a thought. Uh kind of I, I just figured I would ask other people out in YouTube land if they had if they had seen any other channels that actually do that cuz I could be wrong. I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen one another channel that does that. Um but who knows? I just kind of uh, popped in my head. It's it's a rainy day outside. I uh, it's, it's middle of January, but we were supposed to get a little bit of snow and just like a little bit, and it wasn't supposed to be cloudy today. And it's been cloudy all day, and it just started raining. Um, Kevs are doing. I keep fucking around, moving around. The little Kevs are doing pretty good. We ear tagged them all today. Uh, we didn't brand them. Just don't want to put the stress on them. Uh, and I've seen some. I've seen some uh, articles where people won't brand them for like three weeks, 
and or and they won't give them their IBR for like three weeks or dehorn them because it, it is stressful on them. And these guys going straight through that nasty little winter storm uh, after a long haul, I didn't want to brand them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of see on these ones. Uh, I probably won't give them their IBR until in th until they've been here for three weeks. Because the thing about that is I use a I use a modified live virus and so it actually gives them the virus a version of it and so they can they will get kind of sick and i've seen a lot of uh papers where w when you give them that straight out of a sale barn or straight at weaning it can actually uh affect them uh, make them sicker where they don't respond to uh, antibiotics and it's it's harder on them so i'm trying it this way and kind of see how it works I have lost uh, one so far, uh, and it I had doctored it. I had two of them that were looking sick, and I had doctored them like the day before, and it was late, and I was like, well, I'll get him in early in the morning and give him a shot. Well, it was too late by then, it was dead. So, it went to the bone pile. Um, but yeah, that's, out of 146, I've lost one. And you know it's still <laughs> they're still they're still pretty fresh. So you know I planned on five percent death loss, so that would be like six, maybe uh, six or seven. Uh, I'm hoping to run. I'm hoping to get two hundred of them in here uh, by the time I'm done. They should be. I should have the rest of them in this coming week, but. Uh, so that'd be 10, 10 head. I figured five, that's kind of what I figure on fresh cows is 5%. Uh, I don't like that high death loss. I, two, two is, that's where I think you should be at. I mean, I've seen southern cattle anywhere from 10 to 15. I've had, I've had eight to 10 before and that was rough. You don't make any money at that. But uh, a lot of guys in the fall will see 10 to 15 and that's, yeah, you lose 15% of your calf crop. There's there's no money at all. Because then you have all the meds that you put into them. But yeah, we we lost one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be like, oh look at all these high risk calves that I got in here, and I didn't lose one of them. No, <laughs> uh, it was deader than shit. So, but I went and I have a special pile that I put all my dead cattle into them. I call them dirt cows, and so I plant them in the dirt. And I, I hope one day I get a, like a cow tree that comes up and all the cows that I've lost, you know, magically come out of it. But uh, that hadn't happened, so I'm not counting on that one with this one. But yeah, so uh, I hope it's I hope it's just one. But it's gonna be cold rain again today, so shit, who knows? I could be I could be looking at ten by the time I'm done with it. I hope not, but who knows? Um, yeah, this is just nasty stuff. We air tagged them today, and I actually, I doctored, uh, like 20. I actually, I have it on a glove here somewhere. I doctored, this was going to be a quick video. I doctored, uh, 25, 25 today out of, out of the 150 that there are. So, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Um, it's raining even harder, so I'll let you go. Tell me what you think. I'm not trying to bash the guy. Just I'm just curious, because uh, if other people do it, then I guess it's a pretty common thing. But I don't think anybody else does it. That's what I'm after. But please comment, rate, and subscribe.